Hello everyone and welcome back to Kim Re Reads. I am going to read Do Berenstein Bears and the Ghosts of the Forest. Off go the Bear Scouts to the camp out at night. Will an unwelcome ghost visit their site? Look out for Papa, said Brother Bear as the Bear Scouts tiptoed down the stair. We won't need Pa, Sister Bear said. Not this trip, agreed Cousin Fred. I see you scouts are on your way into the great spooky forest for an overnight stay. Pa, I hope you'll excuse us, said Brother Bear, but this is a trip we'd rather not share. It's also a trip I'd rather not share. Me sleep with spooks, not on a dare. Ooh. Spooks, gasped the scouts, not a little afraid. Spooks of all kinds, a nightly parade. And the boss of them all, the ghost of the wood. Call off the trip, scouts. I really and truly think you should. Nonsense, said Mama, who overheard. Spooks indeed, not another word. Your papa's just trying to scare, trying to give you a scare. So be off with you, scouts, smiled wise Mama Bear. As the scouts waved goodbye to Mama Bear, Pa all sneaked around and climbed the stair. Then up to the attics and the old rag box. What's Papa up to, the sly old fox? Sly Papa cut three holes in a sheet and turned himself into a ghost with bare feet. Later, Jane met the scouts at the edge of the woods. No, Papa, she asked. That's very good. Papa gave us a bit of a thright, fright. He said there are spooks and they come out at night. Spooks? That's nonsense. Let me explain. There are no such things, said Scout Leader Jane. So the scouts went to work setting up camp, raising the tent, filling the lamp, building the fire, getting it lit. Jane took the time to explore a bit. She collected some leads, she studied some seeds, and then she heard a voice in the weeds. Chuckling and talking to himself in there was, you guessed it, Papa Q Bear. This trick will be fun, Papa Bear said as he pulled the sheet over his head. Hmm, said Jane as she tipped it away. This is a game that two can play. Then using the twigs and leaves as a base, and she started to make what looked like a face. The scouts told stories in the firelight. Then they all bedded down for the night. They heard it just as they started to doze. It frightened those scouts from heads to their toes. Woo! I'm the ghost of the forest. They ran to Jane's tent, but Jane wasn't there. What shall we do? cried Sister Bear. Then a spookier spook came into the night and gave the first ghost a terrible fright. Woo! I'm the ghost of the forest. And who did spook number two turn out to be? Leader Jane, of course, and that's when they saw spook number three. Ooh. As the campers on Paul shivered and shook, Sis opened an eye and took a good look. She saw something strange, a yellow hat on a pumpkin head. Paul's red pajamas and a polka dot dress that looked exactly like Mama's. Just having some fun, the voice it was Mama's, then put her head then she her head poked out of Papa's pajamas. Teaching Papa a lesson like this was just too good a chance to miss. It's a double ghost lesson, said Jane with again with a grin. There are no such things. There never have been. But just as sure as night follows day, it's fun to be scared of them anyway. And that's the end of that story. Thank you for listening. Happy Halloween!